the West Ham Network channel. My name is Harry and in today's video I'll be starting a new series which is all about how I would fix West Ham. Now as I said this is going to be a new series about three episodes long. First one's going to be all about the defence and then the midfield, the attack and then it all combined in the last episode. So in the first episode it's going to be all about the defence. Now if you do enjoy this series don't forget to give the video a like and also subscribe. Now on to the issues with the defence. The players we brought in during the summer transfer window once again match the possession based football Moyes is eventually trying to achieve and these players suit a back five. I said during pre-season that I thought Moyes would likely switch to a back five just due to the players we signed. Now I know a lot of the fan base despise the back five but I for one don't mind it if it's utilised with the right players. It gives security in defence as well as providing much needed width in attack. People need to realise that just because when you see the lineup on a football app it doesn't mean we're actually playing that formation. As, a, as an example, obviously, if, we're, if it's shown that we're playing a 5-2-3, it doesn't mean that this is always the case for the whole game. A lot of times this season, we have transitioned into a back four when in attack, and then when defending, gone back to the back five. I think every manager does this, and it allows for players to interchange positions and cause problems for the opposition. This season, certain players are really struggling with bad form, and in our defence, Kufal is one of them. But due to injuries to Ben Johnson and Harris Nashby, we have really no other option for this position, so we have to play a poor Kufal week in, week out. He obviously really lacks ball progression, and the only thing he really does, really stick when I watch him, is just get the ball out wide and hoof it up the line. And maybe this is why Jared Bowen is really struggling at the minute, because we literally have no build up from the right, and he's having to do a lot of the work and coming back and helping him. So it kind of could be one of the reasons why Bowen is underperforming lately. Obviously, I'm not saying it's all Goofal's fault, but you've got to factor these things in. An option I think would be interesting, just to throw it out there, would be play Connor Coventry at right back. I know a lot of people are like, what are you on about Connor Coventry at right back? He's a centre midfielder, of course. But while we wait for other players to come back from injury, like Ben Johnson and Ashby, Coventry has actually played right back for us before. This was in a pre-season uh, last year, I believe. He was played right back for a couple of games and actually performed quite well. Now, I know this isn't the answer long term, but it could provide a short term option. I'm sure Coventry himself wouldn't complain about this either, as it would give him opportunity to get some game time, which obviously he hasn't got, albeit in a different position. On the left-hand side, we have the dilemma of Creswell or Emerson. Now, I think the calls for Emerson to start over Creswell is ridiculous, to be honest. Creswell was poor last season. He's probably one of our worst players, if we're being honest. But this season, I think he's done quite well. People need to realise that Emerson is not a fullback. I mean, you can put him in a back four, you like, but as we saw against uh, Bucharest, obviously the goal was his fault, and he didn't look the best defensively, did he? Going forward, he was, he was really good. But defensively, I think there's an issue there. He's very similar to Masuaku in that he's a wingback, and defensively, of course, he isn't the best. So to play Emerson in the back four, I just don't think he's going to end very well, especially against decent opposition. I'm not saying Emerson is a bad player at all. I just think he needs to be utilised in his position because he's a left wing back. Now moving on to the centre backs. Thilo Carey is arguably our best centre back on form right now. That was an absolute steal for 10 million. However, once again, he does suit a back five. He's very comfortable on the ball. And by playing that right centre back role, it would allow him to carry the ball out of the defence and progress the ball out the pitch by making a line breaking pass through to one of our midfielders. He also provides good cover for Kufal, who of course isn't the best at the minute in his position. He reminds me a bit of what Chelsea used to do last season with uh, Rudiger, when Rudiger would carry the ball out of uh, the defence a lot and really like get Chelsea out of the pitch. So I think Kerra could do that on the right side for us. Kurt Zuma has been a player who at times I've been really disappointed with this season too. He seems like he's always carrying a knock. But over the past few games, he does seem to have stepped up his game a little bit. The problem with Zuma is that he's really poor on the ball, which is probably why Chelsea did allow him to leave. If we're being honest, he doesn't really suit the back five. But he just does a job, obviously, in that central role. Ogbonna is not trusted enough, in my opinion, to start week in, week out in the Premier League. He's getting on, of course, and due to the injury he had last season, he most likely will never ever get back to that same player he once was, which is a shame. For me, he does a job in a conference league, and he's also that centre-back we can bring late on in the game, if needed, just to see it out. Dawson is a player I really like, but if we are being honest, he doesn't suit the playing out from the back style, does he? Um, that doesn't mean he doesn't have a place in the squad. I would at times start him over Zuma, and before Zuma's change of form, I couldn't wait for Craig Dawson to be back fit again. Gives everything for West Ham, and I think all the fan base can see this too. Last but not least, Aguard. For me, Aguard goes straight into this side over Zuma when he comes back from his injury. Similar to Kerra, Aguard is very comfortable on the ball and would provide good ball progression into the midfield. You could even take Creswell's spot a left centre back once you get up to full speed. So, in my opinion, the way to fix this defence would be to stick to the back five formation to relieve pressure off our questionable fullbacks, and it also suits the majority of our defenders as well. I would look to get Kufau out of this side as soon as possible with even Harrison Ashby even getting his chance when he's back fully fit, which hopefully should be soon. It was, this would give us a bit more in attack as well, a bit more width, someone who's going to want to attack the ball more, and if we're being honest, Kufel's crossing has been pretty abysmal this season as well. 
I'd also look to get a Guardian of Azuma, but as soon as he's back from injury, of course, once he's get back to his full fitness, if Azuma continues to dip in his form. But overall, this area of the pitch is my biggest concern. In the next episode of this series, I'll be talking all about the midfield. And a little hint for you, this is where I think the majority of our problems lie. If you do want to see that, as I did say at the start, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Oh, no.